Hey Simlies, it's Lily Grissy here with another review video on The Sims 4 brand new Backyard Stuff Pack. I find that review videos are my favorite because I always enjoy sharing with you guys uh, my excitement for new content for The Sims 4 and I love reading your comments about what things you love about this new game pack stuff pack or expansion pack and yeah that's why I just love doing them. Um, so first of all just to explain this is a Sims 4 stuff pack so this isn't a game pack or expansion pack this is a stuff pack so just some extra additional <gasps> items for your gameplay from Kaz and also build buy mode. A couple of the items in build and buy mode uh, will introduce some new gameplay which I'll show you guys in just a little while but first of all we'll start up with Kaz and that's my favorite part so let's get started. Uh, okay so here we go, here's Summer Whiteley. And uh, I thought Summer was a good name for her because this stuff pack is all about enjoying the sun. Uh, the backyard stuff pack has things that kind of, I guess, celebrate the season of summer and most of the world is in the middle of summer right now. I am from Australia, we're in the middle of winter. <laughs> so this pack definitely brings me a lot of excitement for when we finally do get summer uh, in a few months time. But anyways, this first hairdo is really, really nice. It's just soft waves. It's slightly shorter at the back. It's quite stylish, slightly longer at the front. I'm going to go ahead and call it a bob lob. A bob lob, because it's kind of like a bob, but also a lob. I don't know. Uh, also, it comes, of course, in different colors. I am looking forward to when we get some new swatches, because I feel like I am getting a little bit tired of these same swatches. The colors and tones do vary a little bit from each hairstyle, but I still feel like we need another row or even better custom colors. That'd be amazing. Uh, but the cool thing about this hairstyle is we also have it in ombre. And this ombre style is my favorite. I love the dark to the light blonde. I have very subtle uh, balayage in my own hair, so I definitely appreciate this look. Uh, but also we have some really bright, vibrant colors, which allow you to be super creative with your Sims and trying to, I guess, translate uh, your Sims style more so through their hair. Did that even make sense? I don't know. I love this one. This one's pretty cool with the red turns at the top and uh, the fiery reds are pretty cool. Uh, so you can have a lot of fun with this. This color though, I have an issue with this tone. This is baby poo color to me, baby poo brown, that yellowy brown. I really don't like it. I've never used this swatch for any of my Sims. Uh, I don't know, I just don't get it. And uh, I just don't like that one. Don't like that one. This one's way nicer. I love the different tones uh, at the bottom of the hair, especially actually. I think it's just such a nice style and appropriate for lots of different ages of Sims. Uh, elders, adults, young adults adults and teens. I think I would have preferred having the darker at the roots for this one, but I guess it's a bit experimental. This I thought a lot of you guys would get very excited about because I know pastel goth style is so popular on the gallery at the moment. So I think you guys are going to have a ton of fun with that. And uh, even the gray is quite cool. Gray hair, a lot of young people are repping the gray hair look and it's pretty nice, especially as on as especially as ombre. I'm so excited. I can't uh, this purple is pretty sick too. I really want to put this on a very pale sim, like a pale goth sim with bright purple hair. That would be pretty epic. Although summer here looks pretty babe in, in it, not going to lie. Candy pinks are cute, fairy floss bottoms, love this blue. I don't know, you guys, let me know what you think in the comments down below, but this is certainly my favorite. We've also got some pretty cool dreadlocks, uh, which come in all the base colors. It's just like a nice tied back style. I think it's gorgeous. I love it. I'm definitely going to use this. And again, we're able to have it in ombre as well. And I love how this ombre is very, very subtle, especially for the reds and the blues. It looks particularly really, really nice. Uh, the black's a little bit too subtle for me. It would have been nicer to give that a little bit more kick, I think, somehow. Ah. Maybe lighter at the bottom or something, because it's just not a lot different to what we already have. Same with the brown. Uh, but I think this is really cool. Uh, this one's pretty cool. Yeah, would have liked a little bit more difference probably for those. But still, I'm pretty happy with that. 
Uh, we also have this wavy short do, which I think would probably have been made firstly for male sims. Uh, but again, you can make it into a pretty cute style for girl sims as well. Uh, but yes, that's pretty much the look. I'm going to go for this one for now because I think it's cute. Okay, moving on. Surprisingly for this stuff pack, no new hats or sunglasses. I think I'm a little bit disappointed there's no, no new sunglasses hats. I don't mind as much. I just thought if there's going to be a time to add new hats and sunglasses, a summer backyard stuff pack would have been perfect. But hey, who knows? All right. I'm going to go ahead right now and tell you guys this stuff pack has my favorite, all time, most favorite Sims clothes in it ever. Okay, there's three items that stand out to me and I'm going to show you them now. This is the first one I am obsessing over. This is a leotard top. You can put leggings under it if you want to go for a little bit of an 80s or athletic gymnastics vibe. Or you can put jeans over it or skirts over it. And it comes in an array of swatches, which I really love. I love the cream and I love the tan color. Mm. Uh, I'm all about the neutrals. But you can also have a lot of fun with the bright colors too. And if we turn it around... Uh, there's this lovely lace intricate detail at the back. So that's pretty nice. I would have loved, loved, loved to have this without the lace detail as well. If they just removed that and made a second one, it would have made me really happy because I just, I'm ah. not into lacy stuff myself. Uh, but I still think this top's beautiful and these swatches are amazing. So that's pretty awesome. And this top... I mean, I'm going to be honest, I'm not about this. I don't, I just find it a little bit daggy looking. However, because I have already looked through this, I do like this one, the flannel blue with the white shirt on, underneath, and this one with the white shirt underneath. Oh. But I just wish it was a bit looser. Maybe if it was a bit looser with cut off denim shorts, that would have been kind of cute. But I just find these ones up here a little bit, I don't know, the swatches and patterns a little bit. I don't know. I, I just don't like them, but I'm interested to see what you guys think. I don't mind the idea of clashing patterns. That's quite cool. But yeah, I don't know. I just, I'm not about this. I'm about this. <laughs> um, we also have this top, which I thought was really pretty. This is uh, quite a trend at the moment. I'm not sure what you call it, but I get, I guess it's this crisscross tie detail at the cleavage chest area on women's fashion is pretty huge at the moment, usually on long sleeve shirts, uh, especially in Australia right now. Hmm. And I think it's really cute. I like it. I'm obsessed with this blue color. I think this blue is amazing. And yeah, I just, I think it's quite pretty. I know a lot of players will really enjoy that. And we don't have anything like that. So cool. Uh, this one's quite nice too. This is a semi-cropped top. It's a t-shirt tied here. Uh, really nice. A lot of, a lot of uh, girls I know will tie their shirts just like this. So I feel like the game's really, uh, you know, exploring a style that's quite realistic. And I like that you can go with this more teen ombre trend with graffiti styled writing or, or it can maybe go a little bit more sophisticated with the, the clean colors, clean geometric shapes. Uh, you can have just fun with it. All right. This is something that you guys I know will love. <laughs> and I have to say, when I was listening to uh, the official Sims 4 stream of this stuff pack with Graham Nardone, Sim Guru Graham, he was trying to describe what this was. And I can't remember what he called it, but I just thought it was so funny. Oh, bless Graham. Uh, I would call this overalls, an overall play suit. <laughs> I don't know what you guys call it in the US, but we call them overalls here or like a play suit romper, two-piece romper. And I just thought it was so funny when they were describing it. Uh, but I think I like the stripes and the spots best. I think they're really cute. Um, but yeah, really nice. A lot of players will have a lot of fun with that. And last of all, the most exciting thing about this stuff pack, in my opinion, I'm just going to jump straight to it. <gasps> Skinny jeans. What? What 
Oh my lord! Oh, I'm so happy this has finally happened because for so long, oh, since the game came out, I've just been like, please give me some skinny jeans to play with because these are the first ones that are actually skin tight, leggings, jeggings style of skinny jeans. Not jeggings, but pretty close to. And it's just oh. so nice. Look how chick this chick looks. I mean, chic this girl looks. Chick, what? Okay, and they're just beautiful. So just to give you guys an idea, you can pair these with boots. Uh, let's just get some normal looking boots here. There we go. You can put your boots in them. Really, really nice. Or you can also put them with some really nice flats or heels or whatever you want. And damn, I'm just so happy. <sighs> so happy. Uh, we also have these shorts with a, what appears to be a metallic belt. Uh, I don't mind these, but I'm definitely more of a cut off shorts kind of girl. They're very little. They're very short shorts, uh, which I don't mind at all. But I, mm. I probably won't use those as much as the existing ones. And these are pretty cool. These are obviously... Um, both suitable for male and female sims and they're just slouchy and uh yeah cool I quite like this uh very preppy uh very I don't know kind of reminds me of Lacoste or Tommy Hilfiger so uh yeah I'm pumped about that but I think I just want to I think what I like most uh the where are the shorts? Base game shorts. These were originally only for male sims until they made the game so it was cross-gender. Mm. But I quite like those together minus the shiny heels. I think she looks really good in that. Uh, no new accessories. We do have one pair of shoes. Where are we? Here we go. So glad to have another pair of wedges. I love me some wedges. So these were, were really, really cute. And... I can't tell if they're a lace or an animal print. Are these lacy or animal print? Oh, hmm. no, 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 they're definitely lacy. Yeah, they look like a cool animal print in the orange though. I quite like that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's pretty much the new uh, women's, women's stuff. If we jump across to the male, uh, the male look and feel, uh, again, what am I doing? Uh -huh. What am I doing? Hmm. Okay, let's go back to here. So, male hair. Let's start with that. Uh, we've got Remington here sporting the electric blue ombre dreads. It's the same as what we just saw with the female. Uh, but I think they look really, really good on both male and females. And here's the, I don't know, Justin Bieber hair. Mm. Justin Bieber hair overload. Um, <laughs> he looks way cooler with the dreads. So I'm just going to leave that right there on him. No new hats, no new sunnies, but we do have some new clothes. Uh, this tank top mm. down here, I really love in the plain white. I'm so glad we got that really crisp white color. Oh. Perfect workout top. Uh, these have some graphics on them as well. Uh, yeah, mm. nice, simple tank top. Quite a different shape to what we have currently. It's a bit looser, which I really like. This is uh, another top that is like a layered uh, buttered down V mm. with a layered denim shirt. Uh, why don't I like this? I don't like that there's double buttons. This is like something that I don't like. Button and button. But that's just me personally. I think a lot of players will enjoy this. Hmm. Uh, so that's that. That's that. We also have this shirt with a nice uh, cut texture here. I do like the idea of texture. Hmm. I love different textures. So that's pretty cool. Hey, where's the texture on this one? <laughs> okay, so we've got a few different styles here. Eh, I think this is more for the older, more reserved Sims, in my opinion. And this shirt... I don't like this. This is just fine for probably a lot of people, but for mm. me, no. I just, no. 
I will. I would not wear boy. I would not let boy flagrancy oh. wear this. I'm sorry. I'm just not into it. Uh, I'm all about this. <laughs> um, but yeah, nice selection there. I think I like this best. And I don't think we have. Do we have a full body outfit for men? No. Uh, and we only have the shorts. Is that right? Let's just filter this again. Yeah. So I think the girls definitely got a lot more attention. Uh, for this stuff pack, but I feel like I enjoy dressing up the girls oh. more than guy sims. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I just do. <laughs> I don't know if it's because I'm a girl, but it's just what I have fun with. So I'm not really bothered by that at all. If we go to little lilac here, we've got some really cute kids' hairs as well. We've got this pixie cut for both male and female sims, and I think this is really cute. Uh, really edgy too. Currents fresh, I like it, and it's great with the the uh, different tips. It does get a little bit leafy looking. Um, uh, I don't know about this part here. I think it's okay in the natural colors, but when you start seeing it, like in the blues, is there a green? There's, an, there's no green, but I just feel like it starts looking very leafy. So I like it from this side, but the part's a little bit of an issue for me. So I'd probably go with the more natural colors myself. <laughs> uh, but still, it is pretty cute, though. Okay, I don't care about the leafy thing. It's adorable. Uh, we also have a couple of shirts. Again, this is both suitable for girls and boys. Uh, this little cat here, fun fact. Uh, this I think this is called the Ratchet Cat. Uh, and it's the same cat as the Galaxy shirt from the last kids stuff pack. Uh, where is it? This cat. It's the same cat. And apparently one of the designers, uh, they've made up this cat character. And I think they said it was a ratchet cat. But I don't know if I got that right. Don't quote me on that because I could be wrong. <laughs> uh, I feel like I'm wrong. But yeah, I thought that was very cute. We've got some Sim-esque plum bobs. Uh, reminds me a little bit of the Sim Supplies logo, uh, which I designed. Oh, I love this one with the stars. That's really cute. I love that favorite swatch pattern and this is cool this is like a sporty top really really cool actually i love this this kid kind of thing and we've also got some uh foxes and cityscapes uh a pizza which may be a farewell symbol to sim guru pizza who i think is leaving so i don't know if that was a little a little sneaky farewell there but um yeah some nice tree patterns and again we've got a lot yeah. of ombre which everybody seems to be loving the ombre at the moment so that's pretty good and i don't think we actually have anything new for the kids mm -hmm. uh in terms of pants or full and i am actually surprised that we even got to have uh kid stuff for this pack seeming the kids pack release wasn't too long ago so yeah uh let's check out a little bit of gameplay with the new build and buy items Alrighty, i've gone ahead and done something a little bit different this time i've actually done a build uh celebrating this stuff pack already using all the items in it so i thought i'd just go around the build and show you guys all the items instead of laying them out uh we've also got our sims we just had a look at them down here right that new gorgeous leotard i'm obsessed with uh what's her name again summer yeah i'm obsessed with summer lightly whitely i think she looks so <laughs> gorgeous all right so this is my little beach house i just built uh it's like a beach shack on the beach and uh it's got some really cool items from the stuff pack so i guess this is an example of how you could use them utilize them but a beach house in summer perfection let's just go into build and buy mode so first of all we have uh these fairy lights they are a whoop <laughs> They are a single object, however, when you place them side by side, they link up quite nicely. And they come in an array of colors. As you can see, they look like they're twinkling. Be cool if they did that, actually, in animation. Uh, but at nighttime, they light up uh, the areas, so they look really sweet. And yeah, 
I think they're pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, another very exciting item is this table. Uh, separate chairs uh, to the table, but this is actually quite unique because it is the first table that's rounded that you can actually fit six chairs at. Our other ones are only four. So there's a bit of extra work required for this from the Sims 4 team because they would have needed to have a new tracking or animation. I don't know. I don't design games, but something along the lines of that. And these chairs come in some really, really cute beachy swatches. Uh, I think my favorite's this yellow one. It's a bit more... I don't know, a bit more my style, but I mean, I think the others are really sweet. And the nice thing is all of these swatches go together really nicely. So it's very easy to mix and match all the different items. So if you're not very confident with colors, uh, you can have a lot of fun with this because they kind of all just go together. We also, if we go into live mode, have a few fun things. Check out these. These are little windmilly things to go outside. Uh, you can... What? Oh, they're lights? Okay. Okay, so they act as lights as well. We've got a little bird box here. And even though you can't actually do anything with this, uh, I'll show you something to do with birds that you can actually do some new gameplay with in a second. As you just saw there, Summer just went for a pretty cool slide on this new uh, water slide that your Sims can have a lot of fun with oh. this summer. And I love the different poses they pull. I think that's pretty awesome. Very schmaxy indeed. And oh, um, wow, I just noticed this texture. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's a clear texture in The Sims 4. I, oh, wow. If you guys know me well, which some of you guys do, I have an obsession with clear, like translucent. <sighs> that's so awesome. Okay, now can we just get furniture, like clear, more clear chairs, please. More clear chairs and a clear raincoat in Kaz, please. That would be awesome with a pink hue. Ah! Uh, you can also, I think, trick this slide. Um, oh, there's something you can do to make it. Oh, yeah, you can add soap. So when they slide down, it has lots of bubbles and it looks really cool. Uh, I quite like that. And this is the other slide as well. So they slide down this in the same way, but it's just minus all this epic shark stuff. We also have some chimes here, which you can actually change the pitch of, uh, which I thought was a really nice detail to the game. So you can have a high pitch. Uh, can we make these go? How do you turn them on? There we go. I didn't have my sound effects on for some reason. So we can go from low pitch to high pitch or medium pitch. It's pretty awesome. It's very exciting. Um, so yeah, they're really cool. And you can get them in different, like you can get them in bamboo and... I don't know. What? Do they change height? Oh, that's so cool. How awesome is that? So you can just gently hear them swaying in the wind. That is so therapeutic. Me likey. All right. So the other thing that's really cool is this bird feeder that you can also get. So if you add bird seed to this, actual animated birds. Oh, she can't get to it. My bad. Actual animated birds will start like flying in. And sometimes I think it's there's a one in seven chance that the bird will actually attack your sim. So if you're scared of birds, probably don't go putting too much bird seed in. But if you find that funny like me and kind of want to see that happen, I think there are peanuts in there. <laughs> um, pretty awesome. But there should be some birds that come or maybe you have to do it in the daytime, but they can come. Uh, but we'll explore that in gameplay no doubt. Uh, over here we have a new table and chairs. Again, like I said, really easy to mix and match the chairs to make them mismatched. We have little candles that look like they scare mosquitoes away. We've got some plant pots, lanterns, carpet rugs. Uh, I love these lemon, uh, lemon and citrus holders just here that you can change the color of. And we also have some summer drinks as well. So we can uh, get Summer here, who's been very busy trialing out all the new things, to actually get a lemonade uh, for everyone to enjoy. Um, and I love that it's stirred with this wooden spoon. It just has a really nice summery feel to it. So 
Uh -huh. Nice one. That looks Ranker. delicious. I want one. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we've got all this cool stuff. Nice matchy matchy. If you want a bit of that, I've just put some base game chairs in there. I've got a cute rug here with a little frog on it. Flowers. A uh, bit of tomato sauce and mustard or ketchup, as some of you guys would call it. And we also have a new speaker up here, which I thought was quite listened to. So quite interesting. <laughs> quite listened to. That's what happens when you do multitasking. If we go upstairs, there's also some new wall decals. Uh, this tree came in the base game, but these ones are quite cute. New, new chair and a new side table. Uh, but yeah, it's just really nice. I'll just show you guys a few of the different options as well in build and buy modes. Let's just turn off this music, shall we? All right, let's turn that off. Um, so yeah, if we just want to check out a few of the different colorways, just so you guys get a bit of an idea of how you can customize everything. Uh, this umbrella comes in an array of different colors. <laughs> I just love that it's clear that makes me so happy this bird house is really nice different colors um these all different the, the black and white one's pretty cool and there's also a butterfly cute little butterfly one over here as well uh which i know lots of you will like again this comes in bamboo we have a aluminium one and what do you americans call it aluminum aluminum so yeah, it can go bamboo or aluminium or you can go with ceramics. So you've got quite a few different things you can go with there. These flower pots come in some fun patterns as well. Uh, I think there's a spotty one too, maybe. Yeah, there's the spots. And this is actually a trio here. So that's kind of fun too. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. To show you guys the different colors to get an idea. Uh, lots of fun rug options too. Some geometrics. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much the stuff pack. So do let me know what you think in the comments down below of this stuff pack. Personally, I think I preferred uh, a similar stuff pack, although it's different. Um, it was the perfect patio stuff pack. I think I prefer the items in it more. However, I'm so obsessed with the new Kaz items in this. I think I prefer the Kaz items for this stuff pack, but the build and buy mode for perfect patio. So I guess they both have their strengths and weaknesses, but um, that's just me personally. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this. I'll link in the description down below my speed build video of this house if you want to check that out. But anyways, I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon or evening, wherever you are in the world. I'll speak to you soon.